Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 6, the beta. Uh, the gameplay you're going to see in the background is my first match on the beta. Just testing out the Omni movement and all that stuff and actually had a pretty decent game. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the Black Ops 6 beta, Black Ops 6 as a game so far, and uh, how I'm liking all the new features and maps. Oh, and you can see in the background, that's me testing out the, uh, the Omni movement, doing the sideways dolphin dives, backwards dives, it's, uh, I love it. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the Omni movement, of course, that's the biggest game-changing feature in this game. And honestly, like, when I saw it in the trailer, when I heard about Omni movement for the first time, I thought that this was going to be a new, like, sweaty thing that's hard to combat. Like, have you played X Defiant? The movement on that game is just insane. Like, you can't aim at anyone for shit. But it's honestly not bad at all in this game. The Omni movement is kind of hard to get used to, but once you like get the flow of everything, running sideways and backwards and taking tight corners, it's just so smooth. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I don't know, when you f get your first Omni movement sideways dolphin dive kill, you feel like you're straight out of max pain. You're re reliving those old glory days. But it's, it's not super sweaty at all. Like, anyone can do it. And the thing is, it's not like a crutch. You don't need to do the, the Omni movement. You can play the game normally. And I know that's like a cop-out. I know people don't like this kind of stuff, and so that's kind of like a cop-out answer for those people. But you really don't. You can just play this game like a normal COD, and there will be those odd times where you see someone do the sideways dolphin dive, but it's so easy to just lock on and shoot them. It's not like you're diving across the fucking map. You dive like a few meters like a normal dolphin dive, and it's just pretty simple to combat that. And if you don't want to try out the uh, the Omni movement in-game, like you don't want to get destroyed while you're trying it out, uh, they added this thing called Training Grounds, which is exactly what it sounds. It's just a place where there's no enemies. You go and you can practice your gun recoil, your movement, all that stuff. So I, rec I recommend checking out the Training Grounds to get a grip on the Omni movement. Now, another thing I want to talk about in this game is they did a, a tiny nerf to Aim Assist. And I know how everyone feels about aim assist. It's like a big discourse in the community for some reason, even though it's been a thing since the earliest Call of Duty games. But they made it so there's no aim assist when you're within three meters of the enemy. The rotational aim assist, so if you're moving the left stick and you're moving around, uh, it used to just lock on and stick to the person, especially when they're close to you. But now you can't do that with, when you're within three meters of someone. So those close range gunfights... It's all going to come down to skill. Can you aim better than that other person? And that's going to feel really good for those players who complained about aim assist. Now, for people who like aim assist and rely on that stuff, there's still aim assist after three, three meters. So if you're four meters up, you're still going to have that aim assist to help with those long-range gunfights and even medium-range gun, gunfights. But this is just a nice little change. Now, at the time of posting this video, there's four maps in the beta, Skyline, Scud, Rewind, and Derelict, along with four game modes, Domination, Hardpoint, Kill Order, and Team Deathmatch. Kill Order being the new game mode. Your, the objective is to eliminate the enemy high-value target while keeping your high-value target alive. And when you kill the high-value target, you get 10 points towards the score. And I'm pretty sure it's a 125 win point. So, I mean, the me the game mode kind of plays rough, like, so there's this blue or red ob ob objective marker over the high value target's head, and so everyone in the whole lobby basically sits in a circle around the high value target. So, like, big maps, like, uh, what's it called, Rewind, it's hard, like, it's already a pretty big map with a lot of, like, separate buildings, and just long sight lines, and so people just tend to sit on one side of the map, they don't run around much, so it plays horribly on Rewind, but I've had a blast playing High Value Target on Skyline. I haven't played it on the other two maps, Scud or Derelict yet, but it's a pretty decent game mode, I don't know if I'll be playing it come launch, but it's decent to try out for the beta. Now, for my opinions on the map, Skyline is probably the best map, at least it seems like a fan favorite in the beta, Every single time that map comes up in the map voting, that one gets five, just sweeps sweeps the whole table. Uh, Skyline's a really good map. I've seen a lot of dolphin dive, omni movement trick shots on that map, and it's, it's just pretty sick. It's a good map for casual players as well, because it's kind of smaller, and it's a perfect three-lane map. But of course there is the basement area where all the rats like to hide. 
I had a match on high value target where the high value target just went into the basement and their whole team just fucking s- s- held all the sight lines, the entrances into the basement. And it was, it was just toxic. No, I know I just talked up a big game for Skyline, but I'm going to be honest here. Hot take, my favorite map is Derelict. Something about this map just gives me the, that Black Ops 1 map vibe, where it's just so, like, run down and destroyed, and it, I don't know, it's just super fun to play on. I, I've seen a lot of discourse about this map on the internet. Everyone hates Derelict, but it's my favorite map by far. I have all of my best games on Derelict, just running around, whole, like, I don't know. There's a lot of cool sight lines on this map. It's just, it's just, just a fun map to play, though I know that's an unpopular opinion. I'd honestly say Derelict is the best map in the game for hardpoint, domination, I don't know about team deathmatch much, or high value target, but for those two it's just super fun, especially domination. That B flag that's in the middle of the trains, like where I'm at right now in the video, it's just, it's just a super cool map. And for Scud, okay, let's talk about Scud. So there's that stupid satellite spot where there's a nasty head glitch and every single time you play that map there's bound to be one sniper, one LMG user just sitting there on the head glitch picking everyone off who runs up the middle lane of the map and it just kind of destroys the pacing because you see everyone just runs to the left side of the map where there's cover and they just sit and take out people running to the middle or the right side of the map to try and get behind the person who's on the satellite so it's kind of a little overpowered, maybe they can make the head glitch a little less unbearable uh we'll have to see on launch i doubt they change it though it's it's a pretty ugly looking map as well so that's not helping it not giving it any brownie points uh but to be honest i have enjoyed it a little bit like i've went on a few decent streaks here and there but it's just i actually got a 20 kill streak on this map do not know how i did that uh didn't get the nuke of course tragic but this map is it's mid-tier, maybe a little less than mid. I don't know, people don't like it. I'm not a big fan. I don't, eh, it's just rough. And the last map that I'm going to be talking about, currently there's only four in the beta, the newest one that just got added yesterday is called Rewind. It's the mall, the Liberty Falls Zombies map, but on multiplayer. Don't know how I feel about that. I hate that they're turning a multiplayer map into a zombies map, but don't even get me started on that. I'll be talking about that when the game launches. But Rewind, it just... Maybe it's just because it's new, haven't learned how to play it well yet, but to me so far it's just been lackluster. It's pretty boring. Like the first five matches I played, the highest amount of kills I saw was 30, which is nothing compared to Skyline and Derelict where I see 50, 70, 80 kills. So it's just a slow paced map and in the middle of the mall, there's just a ton of obstacles, head glitches, all that bullshit. So it's not super thrilling to play. I'm not a big fan of Rewind. Not not the map for me. Let me know how you feel about it. Now for the guns, I'm going to address, address the elephant in the room. The Jackal PDW. It's not a Treyarch beta experience without a busted SMG. And that's exactly what the Jackal is. That's a 3-5 to five hit from pretty much any range. It's just so overpowered. Almost any lobby you get into, you look at the kill feed, there's three or four jackals in the damn kill feed and it's super super busted so they need to patch that out for week two i doubt they will though as for the other guns the other guns are pretty amazing to play with if you haven't tried out the xm4 yet i highly recommend it best assault rifle in the game although i haven't used the aims yet i'm leveling up all my weapons first but xm4 is pretty overpowered the c9 i think it's underrated the mp5 underrated uh, with the iron sights on that and an extended mag, that shit just rips. Uh, if you haven't try, tried out the LMG yet, the XMG, give it a shot. That gun is so powerful, and with the amount of bullets it has, it's, it's just, it just eats. And for snipers, there's the SVD and the LR762. Everyone's using the LR because that's the one-shot sniper, right? But the SVD, give the SVD a shot. That gun... Ooh, that gun's amazing. You, you can be a casual and get a quad feed easy. There's a rocket launcher in this game called the Sigma, and that's all I need to say about that. I mean, what the hell? If you're a shotgun user, bad news for you. The Marine SP, one of the worst shotguns in COD history. I'm just going to go out there and say it. I got four hit markers with this piece of crap. Yikes. 
do not use that. Continuing with the create a class stuff, the perks. So the perks are in different tiers. There's red, blue, and green. And if you run all three perks with the exact same color, you get a specialty bonus, which I think is just awesome. The specialty bonus are Enforcer, Recon, and Strategist, each having their own perks. Uh, I recommend it. And also, if you have three perks with the specialty, and you run Perk Greed, you can have four perks with the, with the specialty. So you basically have five perks on at the same time. So there's some cool custom ability you can do there. And now going on to the end game stuff, they brought back the play of the game, which I really enjoy. It's pretty fun. Sometimes it's a bust. You see some dude get two headshots, and that's the play of the game. When you got a quad feed, makes no sense. Uh, but the play of the game is pretty interesting, it, especially when you get the play of the game, you get that little adrenaline boost, you're like, yep, that's me, I did that. And then afterwards, they have the uh, Winter Circle. Winter Circle, I mean, just nostalgia, Black Ops 3. Uh, it's pretty fun, people spam their abilities and it looks stupid. A little dance in the Winter Circle. Pretty fun stuff, I love it. Oh, also, with the uh, play of the game... Uh, so the play of the game is only available in some modes, like on launch, Search and Destroy will have a final kill cam, which is just peak. I want, I've always wanted that kind of shit. There should always be a kill cam for Search and Destroy, so that's cool. Another cool thing with the play of the game, as you see on the screen right now, is it shows all the person's perks, their weapon, their level, all that fun stuff. So, I mean, just a cool little bonus. And right now you see the winner's circle. No one's doing their dances. Now on to some more end game stuff. You're about to see the leveling up. The level up is just so smooth to watch. It's not like Modern Warfare 3 is where it's just busted. Uh, it's actually pretty clean. And another thing that they brought back to the game is medals. So you get all your medals and it shows right after you level up. Don't know why medals ever got taken out of Call of Duty. Makes no sense, but glad that they're back. Now finally, my thoughts on the beta. I'm loving it. I'm loving this game so far. I'm having a blast with the Omni movement. The movement's just so smooth. I'm having fun games. I get my butt kicked every once in a while and I'm not even that mad about it because I'm just having a blast. So far, personally, this is the most fun I have had in a Call of Duty beta. Let me know what your thoughts are below.